I'm Dirk Iman from Black Oyster Catcher Wines. Uh, we farmed in the area since uh, the 1800s. I'm the fourth generation, my son being the fifth generation. Uh, we used to farm with sheep, cattle, cereals. Uh, we still do. Uh, in the late 90s, 98, I decided to plant vineyards. Uh, the first vineyards in the area were planted in 1996. In um, about 2000, 2001, my great friend Aubrey Brewer from Springfield arrived with two barrels and a recipe and said, I've got to make wine. Uh, and since then, we've been making wine and with the help of Charles Hopkins and the likes of Bruce Jack, um, that's where my winemaking career started. From there, our first vintage uh, under Black Oyster Catcher was launched in 2005. Um, Black Oyster Catcher is now 10 years old. Uh, thus, we also changed our label to what you can see now with the two birds. Uh, black oyster catcher, birds pair for life. That's also why we, we chose black oyster catcher as our, as our emblem and as our, as our brand. It, uh, it explains what we are. Black oyster catcher is not about ourselves, it's about partnerships. It's the partnerships with our people that, that, that work in the team at black oyster catcher. It's also the partnership with our, with our customers and our partnership with nature. The Black Oyster Catcher Farm is situated in Cape Agulhas region in the southern tip of Africa. We have a number of things that make our area special. The uh, perpetual winds on the southern tip from the southwest and the southeast um, engraves flavors in the berries, uh, causes the grapes to be very small. Um, it inhibits growth. It also carries a lot of salt, and with that we have a soil diversity of note. We've got four different soil types, which has got a huge influence on, on the quality and also on the uh, complexity of the wines. We've got sandstone, we've got iron ferrocrete, we've got um, broken shale, um, and also uh, quartzite. And all these have a complete different flavor profile in the wines um, and for us the challenge is to harmonize all these into what we have in a crafted boutique wine like Black Oyster Catcher. Because we understand the importance uh, and the rarity of all the plant species and the diversity in this area, I started a project in 2003 where we got 23 landowners together. It's a total of 46,000 hectares where our aim is to conserve the natural areas and actually to break up all the barriers and join them up and basically fencing in our intensive areas where we grow grapes and cereals and sheep and cattle um, and the rest of the areas which is the core conservation areas to consolidate that look after that and also bring back the natural uh, game that occurred there to make your visit to black oyster catcher a perfect getaway we've now also renovated um, an old farm building so we've got four cottages on the farm so you can spend the day have a lunch have good wine and then sit around the fire and do your own brine the self-catering facility at black oyster catcher the black oyster catcher restaurant the house of black oyster catcher wines is where we can sit down and have a plate of food that's prepared from scratch, from the garden, through our kitchen, onto your plate. A visit to Black Oyster Catcher is more than food and wine. It's an experience with family and friends in the biodiversity of the Cape Agulhas Plains. Mm -hmm.